Thank you for joining me with another episode of KL Tech Videos. Today, I'm going to show you Lublogger. I know what you're thinking. What a name for an application. But it's the name. The guy's sticking with it. Let's leave it at that. Um, basically, Lublogger is your one-stop shop for all your service records, all your fuel, all your mileage, all your maintenance as a personal diary if you will for your car um and this is what the main interface looks like it's got my voxel moriva on here so if we jump into here we can see what the interface looks like now i haven't been using it um for very long uh, maybe a month or two um so there's not much data to go on in here however uh if we go across the relevant tabs you will see the different things that i've been putting in here and it's, it's pretty good. I think it's very good as, as a as an application to monitor and maintain your car or cars because you can have more than one in here. Um, I actually recently uh, discovered that you could change so that you could have your local uh, details such as uh, date format and uh, currency, which is really helpful. Um, so that's really cool too. So yeah, it's a really cool little interface, and I'm going to show you how to get this uh, on your computer, and it's uh, built within uh, Docker as well, so that's really cool. So this is the GitHub page for what appears to be renamed as Lublog, um, and it's by uh, the developer Hagata. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it says that it's a vehicle service records and maintenance tracker, and it's exactly that. Now, it's had 21 releases, and that goes back to the 5th of January. So it's had really active development. It's got 603 stars uh, on GitHub as well, and it's been forked over 21 times. So it's got quite a good following so far. Not bad. It's got a demo website. So if we go on the demo website, and we can see that it's username test and password 1234. So if we do test 1234. There's a little bit more data on here to show off the, the type of things that you can have. Now, I don't think I'm running the exact latest uh, release on my system, uh, which means I should pull that uh, soon. But uh, there seems to be a lot more things going on here now for planning, doing, testing and things like that. So I'm glad I've checked out uh, this demo. Yeah, it's really, really cool. I like that. And I'm sure you will too, especially if you're into keeping tracks on all your MOTs, on all your maintenance records, and, and obviously how much you're spending on your car and things like that. And I tell you what else um, it really helped me with. Um, with one of my records on mine, I realized that during my MOT, I had my brake caliper uh, replaced. Now, less than 12 months ago, I actually had the same brake caliper replaced. So that gave me the evidence to go back to my garage and say, hey... I was actually within 12 months of my warranty. Oh, you've charged me for this. The first uh, response you always get is, well, what's the mileage? And it turns out I was under the mileage as well. So I was able to get uh, a refund on that, which was really helpful. So let's let's get this installed. Now, you can go through the uh, install site. It's very easy to deploy with Docker. Um, but I've actually created a, a compose file. So this is the compose file for Lublogger, um, and I've created a set of environmental uh, variables for you to use. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this is the exact format you're supposed to use because I cheated and I used Google Bard or rather Gemini as it's now known to create these, but this is so that you can get the correct uh, date formats and currencies within Lublogger, which are not by default provided in the compose file. Um, but this seems to work well for me, um, as you've seen anyway. Um, so there you go. Also, there's quite a few directories that you're going to need to set up. As always, don't change anything to the left, uh, the right of the colon, because that's the directories within the Docker container, but you can change the directories to the left to suit your system. Now we're running on Windows uh, 11 Pro, as we, we always do here on this channel. So we're using backslashes in our directories, but if you were using Linux, for example, you may be using forward slashes. Just make sure it's customized to you. The directories we need are gonna be a config directory, data, translations, documents, images, temp, log, and then the lublogger keys directory. So as long as you've got all that in there, that's fine. Customize that to your heart's content on the left 
of the colon. I'm not using the standard port either because I am running something on uh, port 8080, uh, which is the Ubiquiti controller. So I've changed that to 7474. It does uh, have uh, an ENV file um, in the compose file, although I haven't found reason to use it at this point. I don't know if it's automatically populated as well because uh, I use um, a deployment mechanism called Dockage, uh, which I'll get onto next. But otherwise, just copy and paste this and modify it to your heart's content. I'm using Dockage. If you don't know what Dockage is, it's basically an alternative to Portainer. Feel free to check out the video below because I've got a video on how to install Dockage and it's a really, really cool app as well. Um, especially for beginners of Docker, you're going to find it a lot more easier to use with this. All you would do in this case is you would click the Compose button. You would paste everything into that. And then you could just name your stack, which would be Lublogger and click Deploy. And then it would spin that up for you. As you may have noticed, I've already got one here. So I'm using that here. So basically, same process. You would just copy and paste that in there and click Deploy. It would then start that container up. It would pull that information down, the latest possible release, because I have the latest tag set there. And then it would start running. Uh, and that's where we've got it here. So there we go. Simple as that, really. Um, feel free to download that. I know this is a very quick video today, uh, but I just wanted to really show off this cool uh, tracker um, that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.